I wish to start by thanking the organizer for holding this important conference in Kathmandu and for inviting me to address this August gathering. <coughs> I am pleased to know that the conference is focused on population and development issues, which are vital for all of us. Asia is a home to over 60% of world population. The countries in the region vary in development stages and demographic conditions. Developed part of Asia faces a set demographic, demographic issues while larger portion of the continent, including South Asia, which is just climbing the ladder of development, is striving to manage the different sort of demographic transition. Developing Asia, including Nepal, is a home of majority of youth populations. If managed properly, provided with opportunities, youth can become the trans transformational demographic assets. If we allow, if we cannot manage youth and channelize their energy to productivity, innovation and entrepreneurship, pessimism will prevail and the social instability will be in the rise. Similarly, youth will migrate in search of better income, in better economic, economic opportunities. As such, Asia today is witnessing the several demographic and development development issues which which we need which we need jointly explore share and document uh, document beneficial policies which will inform academicians and this, this is precisely such a forum that I am happy to know that in the larger global context, the sheer imbalance is seen today when it comes to population in certain parts of the world, world, resources and opportunities around the while population is in the declining trend, whereas other part resources and opportunities are limited and insufficient for the global populations. This imbalance has resulted in the atmosphere of the phenomenon of migration. In addition to managing demographic transition, therefore it is also important to manage migration properly and productivity. In the country like Nepal, even though we have met 47% 40, of SDG goal, universal access to safe mother, mother, motherhood and newborn health, newborn health care as well as care for children under the age of 15 years still poses a big challenge. All this can lead to less than desired outcomes for our younger population. Social issues such as child marriage still pose a challenge to us even though we have been able to make large strides 
in other areas such as nutrition and education. In addition to already existing issues, global warming and climate change poses even more threat to the future. I hope that the liberation of these countries will give us line mark directions in tackling the issue related to overall human well-being and process across many key sectors. I also wish all the international delegates a pleasant stay in Kathmandu. Thank you very much.